Hey guys, this is Sean here at the warehouse, and today I'm here with Danny Crossman from Impact Protective, uh, and they are making the shock box. Uh, Danny, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your company and what you're trying to achieve with the shock box? Sure, sounds good. Shock box is a uh, miniature wireless impact sensor. Uh, in this case, it goes on hockey helmets. It was originally designed technology for the Marine Corps and the Army to register how hard a hit is on a player's head. And it simply communicates with a standard iPhone, BlackBerry, and Android. How does the shock box uh, really work, though? Basically, once we uh, attach it to the top of a hockey helmet, it registers uh, how hard a hit is. It has individual sensors inside okay. that tell you what the direction of hit is, what the magnitude is, and G-force. Uh, tells you who the player is, uh, and a whole stack of other different features. Okay, uh, so why don't we just take a look on uh, look on how it works and how it works with the phone? Yeah, sure. Okay, first step is uh, peeling off the peel and stick adhesive. It's a very high bonding adhesive. You put it on the helmet with a USB to the rear. It goes on straight in the middle. You apply some pressure to it for a few minutes, and then it sticks pretty fine. Once it's on. Then you charge it up with the uh, supplied cable, it's a micro USB, charges in the rear, goes in the back, you charge it up for about two to three hours and it lasts for about three to four weeks, depending on the uh, number of hits. And then you go up to pairing it and uh, sync it up to the phone. Okay, once you've paired it and you can pair 128 individual shot box sensors to one phone, you can do a test impact to make sure that you're getting communications. And then after a few seconds, it'll send an alert from the sensor back to the phone, you get an icon popping up down here uh, telling you who got hit, and then you can start your assessment. You get an impact and it shows you the name of the player, the assessment's required, and it gives you two color codes. Yellow is below 90G of acceleration, and orange is above 90G. It tells you a direction of hit, and gives you an impact magnitude scale from zero to 150G. You can see we're in the middle, we're probably just below 90G. You can either discard it, because the kids are playing around on the ice or on the, the bench, or you can assess it. And we have a built-in uh, concussion scat assessment protocol. You can list the symptoms that you see. Has a basic memory question generator. These are random questions that get generated. And also a basic balance test, uh, which can check. And basically any symptom that pops up after an observed head impact um, needs to get assessed. As you can see then, in the player menu, player's got an unhappy face, can't play until he's been assessed. You can either resolve the symptoms individually or resolve them all, at which point the player's ready to go. And then you can go back in and look at individual hits over time. You can enter symptoms later. You can enter context. And you can forward the impact alert onto somebody else by calling or texting or emailing. You can view the results of the tests. You can add notes in there. Or you can view the basic information, look at previous impacts and the results of assessments. And finally, you can load all the data and email it to yourself as an Excel file. So with the shock box, um, you do have an Android there, but is it compatible with most of the other, all the other smartphones? Yeah, shock box will work and communicate uh, over 325 feet to pretty much any phone, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, all the Android range of phones, uh, Android tablets, and Blackberries. Nice, and then um, how, about how long is the life on one of these? We estimate, we give it around about two to three years, depends on the impacts. Each sensor we test, in the lab up to 1,500 to 2,000 very high 150G hits. So it'll take a lot of beating. Okay, and then, uh, and they can be switched out, like say if somebody grows out of a helmet or there's a crack on the helmet and they want to switch it, that, that can be possible? That's right, we give uh, spare adhesives in each of the, uh, the packs. Okay. So if a kid grows out of a helmet or they need to replace it, they just take it off, you cut, cut the tape off with an X-Acto, put on a new tape, put it back on the new helmet. Nice. And uh, the shock box doesn't affect any of the certifications with any of the helmets at all, or CSA or the HEC certifications? That's right, yeah. We stay within the guidelines for the two helmet standards, okay. uh, so we don't affect the impact performance and the adhesives we use are safe on the helmet. Good. And it looks like it does have a pretty slim profile. It's not too over bulky or has too funky of a look, so I think it does look pretty nice, and I think it is very good what you guys are trying to achieve with uh, you know, m monitoring concussion and how big the impacts are. 
Yeah, the key one for us is, you know, the person using the phone, know, know, when a, know when a hit is too big. Right, and you can, you can get that off to the parents or whoever wants to know. That's right, yeah. Great. So once again, this is Sharon here at iDub. I have Danny Crossman from Impact Protective, and uh, you can pick up these shock boxes at inline and icewarehouse.com. <laughs>